10 seconds left and we'll get you qualifying. Uh, I believe we do have single car qualifying and the track surface is actually heating up quite a bit right now. We're up to 116 degrees uh, in just a few seconds. So really uh, that Atlanta Motor Speedway sun, the, the famous Georgia sun, that's why they call it Hot Atlanta, uh, definitely baking down on this track and it's uh, gonna make it a bit more of a challenge. But uh, you see the overview of the track right there, that quad oval shape, the Legends oval right there on the front stretch. And uh, we do actually, looks like it has, some clouds have descended over the speedway. So I believe it might be a little bit cooler. Yes, it is about 99 degrees, which is still not cool, but it's a lot, you know, uh, the way track temperature works on the sim, that will be a lot grippier than, uh, than when we saw it in practice. So definitely uh, we will see the time of Kevin Paskowitz, who's on just trying not to get into the wall or something to disqualify his lap and he's uh, gonna come off turn four right here and come across the line we'll see what kind of a lap time he's run he runs 31.405 for him so he goes through a second place right behind kyle zimmer there's the number 99 of johnny berardi on the track right now he is your sixth place driver as of uh the moment is your last driver to have taken time so far and I do believe that he is running with a new setup on his rig uh, I saw on Facebook that he was uh, tired of using buttons for I believe the gas or something and he, he found a way to uh, rig his pedals up to where he can use them so we'll see if that uh, is able to help him tonight there's Fernando Matos can so 12 trucks here tonight and we'll get the grid for you in just a moment And on the pole, as we said, that number 25 of Kyle Zimmer, actually, I do believe he uh, has a 97 on his truck for whatever reason, might be from another league, but uh, is the 25 in this league. And uh, to his outside, AJ Digby in the number 14 machine. Rolling off third, we have your fastest car in practice, Kevin Paskowitz, see if he can do something tonight, as well as Billy Wise to his outside in the fourth position. Nate Cotilla and Chris Roberge are going to be your two drivers in the third row. Of course, Nate starting in fifth and Chris starting in sixth. Rolling off in seventh, we have the cone killer himself, Alan Capus, and to his outside, Johnny Berardi in that number 99 machine. Yeah, ooh, I had some issues there. Ooh, there's a car on the front stretch who... Had some issues there. I didn't see who it was. Looks like that's Nate Catilla. Not sure what happened there, but he was uh, right in the middle of the racing service before he pulled off of the Legends Oval area. Right there, you see he something happened to him, and he just was uh, right there on the speedway. See, he was by himself off turn four. Ooh, there was a truck that was uh, in front of him, and Nate Catilla just absolutely lost it when he would try and made an avoid and that's Johnny Berardi in the 99 right there so he was he got some issues and Nate Cotilla just uh, hit the wall avoiding him so definitely Oh, looks like some contact from behind for Berardi there from the 98 of Christopher Burge. And uh, it looks like he had the truck saved, but just lost at the very end, right through the pit entry and right in the path of Nate Cotilla. Bit of a hard contact there with the wall, and then here comes Nate Cotilla right behind him, and just kind of, uh, looks like Berardi was having trouble getting going again. Yeah, so that's, uh, he, he spun the tires up trying to get going again, and just, uh, kind of it's like Nate Cotilla just uh, nowhere to go he you know rightfully so kind of freaked out or not really freaked out but uh you know when you see a car doing that in front of you, you you're gonna make an avoidant move and just not enough grip in the track for that to work so unfortunate for him of course he is now three laps down because he was involved in the 